fourth place might have been rejected in the South Dublin or any part of Ireland. They're here from everywhere. And the chant around the place is Katie, Katie. Look at this. We're a sea of tricolors. It's an amazing scene. It's a bit reminiscent of the night that Bernard Dunn. I keep mentioning all the panel here, don't I? That Bernard Dunn won the world title of the O2. It's just amazing, really. Taylor, greatest Irish woman boxer of all time, without a doubt. Maybe the best European woman boxer of all time. And with a bit of luck, she'll be crowned the best Olympic female boxer of all time. But that's not count the chickens before this important hatching in the XL in London. But Casey's Bedlam. Just had a very important British victory. And the great Mary Cohn of India was beaten by Nicola Adams in the flyweight. But I think to a man and woman and child, everybody from GB shouting for this remarkable girl. Ask Lennox Lewis, the former world everywhere champion, just for a comment about her. And he said in one sentence, she punches like a man. Forward. And perhaps there are very few men at her way for the Lord would stand three threes or an eleven skips, four twos. As always she does in every run, she sets the early tempo and drives on. She's seven years older than Kolieva, who is definitely one for the future. But Taylor has a reputation. What about that for a right hand with Sid Stagger, the Tajik? There's an incredible atmosphere here in the XL. Just incredible. All on the shores of this young girl from Bright. Young lady from Bright. Young woman from Bright. That should cover it all. Katie Taylor trying to right on the left. Her punching is always so accurate. She punches so often and she punches so hard. And there is no escape. The legs that signs all around the arena are not the only place that Curly is going to get in this round anyway. For an opponent who must be next to impossible to take on Taylor. Who is winning this round. Hands up. The chat now is Ireland. They talk Taylor for the moment. How proud they all are of their own country, whether they've come over for the fight or they're living here. This has been another round of excellence out of the Katie Taylor. Repertoire, three points to one she needs at the end of that round. That simple is it? One, two, three, get out. And Walter Pete must have said that to her. The chance to cross the left hook. Get out then. Don't stay there. But then she knows her down her coat so well. Three on the score. Three rounds remain. in Ireland, so is Koryeva for Tajikistan. Indeed, she's the only female boxer on the international scene from that country. So they each know what the other is about, sort of. Taylor up on her toes. Looking good, looking in command. And she certainly hasn't been struck too often in the first round. Jab. 
Coriolis. Knees are beginning to bend a little lower. Van Nicholson, a small target. But Katie's on Satin out here. You just can't see her. Have you ever been off for him? Both are known very well to say that she trains like this, she spars like this, and she's always like this. And uh, she trains twice a day, six days a week. In marvelous condition, very important mentally as well as physically. Great attitude to boxing into life. Which is more than half the battle. If your head is right, the rest of you has a very good chance of being right as well. But in a way, she's in the very centre of the ring, commanding the whole issue. Three punches, two landings. But with a mixture of Katie, Taylor, Ole Ole, and Ireland Ireland, it will be coming out on an LP next week. In this round, she's won most handsomely and made won it by four points to two, which means that she made seven points to three after two rounds. Peter's saying she knows herself, and one day she may be a trainer, coach. And she'll be saying the very same thing, but then she probably won't have anybody as good as herself to train and to coach. But Peter's saying is, do that, do that, do that, and now go. Get out. Jab, draw, scoop, out. Katie Kerr, at the age of 15, took part in the first officially sanctioned female boxing match in Ireland. That was 11 years ago. And here she is in an Olympic semi-final, already with a bronze medal in the caskets. But she's bringing that to the swap shop this evening. And tomorrow it'll either be silver or gold. Stop is right. Just a little rough house stuff there from Kulieva. Here again is in quick. The jab, the lead. And of course, don't forget all the time she punches with enormous power. I mean, Kennedy Egan could agree to that when you talk to him. She punches, as Anna Fluor says, like a man. And accurate too, very accurate. This is the third round, the penultimate round. Corey Avis trying to get her into the corner, but Kennedy's too long around for that. I want boxing, the referee says. The referee in this case is from Poland. In close there, the Tajik Tajiki is able to get in the left hand of the body, but otherwise at long range, she's been out punched, out caught by the Bray girl. That's great stuff, the one, two, three. Doesn't stay in for single shots, Katie. Goes for the combos. And Lord, she's terrific. Left hook it in there. Right cross it and swivel the head of Kulieva. Kulieva with a good left hand herself. Great punch there. And tried with the right hand to follow up. That was the best of Kulieva thrown in the fight. And that is encouraging that she's moving ever so slightly closer to Katie Taylor. Tries the left hand again. And I would have put down and punched my button as that for a score. This is the second last round after this just little two minutes. Come back, Ali. We're going to shuffle in the exile.